Hi, I'd like to do a review of two more Pokemon plushes. Here is one of them. It is a Poliwhirl plush. I found this while I was at a garage sale. Um, I'll just put him back here. Um, he definitely cannot stand up on his own because look how tiny his legs are. Um, I would have liked a Poliwag plush. It was just, hey, there's a Pokemon plush. Uh, better get it because it's there. Um, I like it. It uh, makes a good replication and um, I was saying the only thing I see when it evolves into Poliwrath is that the eyelids have closed. It's like, well, there's more, like it gains cuffs. And it has a little tag right here that's uh, kind of ripped. I'm going to check the year right day and I'm going to pop. License to 1998, which I'm not sure if you can tell, which, and uh, that's screwed up. Which I might be able to make you see. The latest um, licensing de detail is 1998, but don't take that as when this was actually made. Um, because it could have had the bigger tag, and I like leaving tags on my stuff. Um, so yeah, Poliwhirl. I, uh, was at GameStop yesterday, and I was like, maybe I'll get a plush there. Because Pokemon plushes are cool. I was thinking of a Piplup, um, keychain plush, but then I saw this, the Master Ball plush. And, um, I think the Master Ball is really cool. Um, I, it doesn't roll around like you'd think it would. It stays still on, like, a tabletop if you want it as a display, which... You're mine, Giratina. Yeah, my Platinum game, which you probably don't know. I have Platinum, and I played it a lot. Um, I caught Giratina using this. And, um... You catch Giratina in origin form. And it has Guitar Hikaratomi on it. And, um... On the big tag, it says 2017. So I assume this is, like, really new because it's made for next year. This probably will be uploaded in, like, 2017 when I actually do upload it. But I'm making this in December of 2016 when I actually film it. Um... There isn't anything else to say. Um, thanks for watching. Um, there's going to be another review coming up. I was at the Outlook Goodwill like two months ago at the time of filming this, and I found this yellow bird plush. That's cool. I have a red bird, um, like, big one that's filled with beans, but this is cool too. It's not electronic. Or, wait, yes it is. Which, But the battery is dead. But I feel like it had battery left when I got it. So, And I'm not going to replace the battery because you, like, you have to like rip these open to change the batteries and uh, then sew them back together or something. So yeah, that's not going to be done. Um, but look at this cool stuff. By the sound, you can probably tell what it is, right? Some Thomas Wooden trains. Isn't that so cool? And look at this! The Sodor Railway Repair was at the Goodwill. Unfortunately, none of its, like, um, tenders were there. Like, you know, that was filled with the coal and... It wasn't coal, it was, like, gravel. Um, and, like, rocks and stuff, but, um, it's still cool. Um, it has, like, this covering his eyes, and he has yellow glasses. Um, and I'm gonna check the year date. 1999, but if you can't see it, well, then too bad. Yeah, you're never gonna see it in its black and stuff, so yeah. Just take my word, you'll probably believe me. It says 1999 on the wheels. Um, this Toby right here is, well, from 2003 as <laughs> up to the Mattel era was that year always. It has a name on the bottom, which I believe the Soda Railway Repair does not. Yet, yeah, it doesn't have a name. In 1999, like in mid-1999 or whatever, they gave him names. I found James's tender, but there was no James. I looked really hard. These are like in bins where you dig, but there was no James. However, there was a Duke. Um, the tender's backwards. And look, it says Duke and still Duke's coal car. Um, what I'd like to say, though, is just speaking of Duke, I saw that there's like um, Bertram, and he was planned to be a tank engine, but he was rebuilt from Duke. One thing I'm going to say is, why did you repainted Duke, but why did you have to leave the tender on if you want to be a tank engine? I mean, it's not like the tender actually helps the model trains. At least I don't think it does. It's just there for show. So they could have just done this and called it Bertram. But no, they repainted Duke's model and left the tender on. And then when it was in wooden railway form, for the first, like, three models, it was like a tank engine without the tender. However, the more mo most modern version I saw actually now has a tender. Isn't that cool? And um, there's also this bash. Um cool as this little thing at the back spins doesn't really do anything other than that but um he's cool um he's chill if you heard that that was my sister um and he connects james's tender which um so yeah that'll be all for this review next one coming up